like my favorite accents do myself because I like to use a lot of them. Probably my Yeehaw Country accent because um, it's the easiest to do because I grew up around a bunch of Yeehaws. Okay. <laughs> What? I think so. Country club. Guys, I think the melatonin's finally starting to hit me. I think it's finally starting. It's so exciting. Sometimes when I'm like, ex like, friggin, what the hell was I just saying? I hate when I do that. Jesus Christ. Thought gone. Nothing in this brain. No thoughts. Just vibes. Yeah, it's gone. I don't know. How often do I get my roots done? Um, every couple months, I think. I just stabbed myself with a charger. Favorite podcast? You know, I don't really watch a lot of podcasts. I just watch like really long clips of podcasts on TikTok. Right now, a really entertaining one that I like to see is when um, the one with Tariyami and that the white boy. Those are those are funny. Um, or Tana and Brooke. They are silly and I like them. Favorite YouTuber? There's a lot of people that I really like, but I will always love Cody Ko. I will always love that man. Um, you know what's so crazy? You know how like Noel Loki got canceled because he like said some weird shit about women? Me and my ex used to like Loki watch Cody Ko all the time because we both were a fan of him and you know, it was something we could mutually watch together. And every time he would have Noel on, it, the episodes would be really funny, but I'd be like, something is off. Like, for some reason, I'm not liking his vibes. I don't like this man. Something about Noel is pissing me off. And then all that shit happened, and I was like, hmm. I was like, I was getting those vibes. I am a genius. So. Have I ever thought about getting a P.O. box? I have, actually. But it costs actually, it kind of costs a lot of money to have one of those. Because I, I looked into it and I was like, whoa. Whoa. And unfortunately, this is, that's not an expense I can afford at this time. Womp womp. Maybe one day. This did not hurt at all. Honestly. Just a little bit. I do my freckles with fake tan, but I also already have fre- I was in the sun today. Can we tell? It's like dark. Yeah, some of my natural ones are coming out. When I was at the beach, the freckles went crazy. I was like, whoa. Because I couldn't find my little brush that I used to put on my freckles, and I was like, whatever, I'm going to the beach anyways. I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> yeah. Favorite song right now? Got a Girl. Got a Girl by the Grogans. That's my favorite song right now. It's a pretty good song. You guys should listen to it. Got a Girl, the Grogans. An incredible song. Just been playing it on repeat. I know I'm finally getting color back into my face. I feel like I wear like an incredibly insane amount of sunscreen every day. And then I also never go outside. Um, and I tan really easy. So I went, I went out, I was outside for two days. I did things outside and now I'm starting to not look pasty anymore. How do you get over your ex? No contact, zero contact. <gasps> you like the song? Yeah. Um, I do thrift. I'm not very good at it. I'm really not very good at it, but I do. Favorite pet I'd like to get besides a cat? A snake. I would like a snake. My friend used to have this ball python. 
and I would come over every day before work in high school and her ball python would just like n climb up into my sleeve because they like to be warm and just chill there. He was such a cute little guy. So then it made me want one. Yeah. I haven't had contact for eight months. No. Um, well, keep up the no contact. It does get easier. It takes a long time for everybody. Um, maybe, honestly, the best thing that helped me through like every breakup is doing things, like getting out and doing things even when I don't want to. And then just like meeting new people, hanging out with my friends, finding different hobbies to be interested in. Yeah, those were my favorite things. How did I learn to French braid YouTube when I was very young? I'm honestly not very good at it. The back view of this, atrocious, but it's nice to sleep in. Was starting TikTok awkward or weird? Yes, the hell it was. Um, hometown people, especially, I went in and blocked probably over a thousand people from my hometown. I just started with one account, blocked them, went through all their followers, blocked all of them. I didn't even have to know them. I didn't even have to know they were blocked. So I blocked a shit ton of people from my area before I started this. And then I unblocked them when it, when it felt less awkward. <laughs> Crazy way to go about it, but honestly, it helped a lot. I love you too. That's not weird. Thank you. Cute girl's hairstyles? Yes! Oh my God, did you see the video I posted where I was talking about how Heritage by Mindy was the first company to ever send me anything and it was because I used their hair waiver like every freaking day because I watched a YouTube review on it. I watched her herself, you know, talk about her thing. And I was like, oh, I trust her. I used to watch cute girls hairstyles back in the day. I used to watch all of this. And so then when they like contacted me and were like, hey, like we'd like to send you some stuff. I was like, I was like, you're, I was like, I've peaked. I've peaked because a YouTube channel I was obsessing over when I was younger reached out to me. I almost, I damn near pissed my pants. I was so excited. I told everybody I knew. And it was really great. They sent me a shampoo and a conditioner and a leave-in conditioner. I was like, wow.